Hello everyone. My name is Rich Keener. I'm the village manager for the village of Villa Park. And today's one of my segments where I'll be discussing the next formal board meeting for the Villa Park Board of Trustees. So folks, today's agenda will cover the, the agenda for Monday, April 26. So let's start. So number one on the formal agenda for Monday, April 26 is the call to order, the roll call. Number two is the Pledge of Allegiance. Number three is public comments on agenda items. And folks, that's the appropriate time for anyone in the audience to comment on agenda items that are on the formal agenda for that evening. Moving on, number four is amendments to the agenda. So folks, that's the appropriate time for the President of Board of Trustees to revise or change the formal agenda for that evening. Number five is proclamations. We have 5A, which is Environmental Concerns Commission, will be presenting the 2020 Green Champion Award to Ken Jacobson. We have 5B, which is a proclamation to designate April 30th as National Therapy Animal Day. So moving on, we have number six, our consent agenda. We have 6A which is the minutes from the board meeting held on April 12, 2021. We have 6B, which is the bill listings for the weeks of April 12, 2021 and April 26, 2021 in the amount of $393,313.67. So moving on the in the agenda is number seven, it's the first reading on ordinances to be codified. So we have 7A, an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending the village code creating the position of assistant village manager. So folks, the background on this particular item is the village wishes to consider creating the position of assistant village manager in light of pending staff changes there is an opportunity to assemble certain job tasks or functions under one individual and create the position of assistant village manager. This position would report to the village manager and support the village manager in their absence. Attached is a brief job description for this position. The costs for this position are budgeted within finance salaries and wages, fund account number 10513, 00101. So folks, just as I had uh, just read, the village is uh, considering creating the position of assistant village manager. Uh, currently that position does not exist. We have a retirement taking place within the organization and it's a key position. So there is an opportunity to take those job tasks and functions and kind of bring them in uh, to uh, and under an assistant village manager. So moving on, the formal agenda from Monday night, April 26th, we have number eight, which is a second reading on ordinances to be codified. So we have 8A, which is an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park amending water and waste water rates and charges. So folks, the background on this particular item is that Stanley Consultants was selected to perform a water and wastewater rate study for the village at the October 12, 2020 board meeting. The focus of the study was to analyze the fees charged in both water and wastewater utilities to ensure that the village will have enough revenue to fund the daily operations and the planned capital improvements that are identified in the village's capital improvement plan. The rate study projected expenses for both water and wastewater utilities for the next five years, including the anticipated cost for low interest loans for capital projects. Overall, the recommendation was to raise rates for water usage, water customer charge, sewer usage, wastewater customer charges, combination sewer charges, and the backflow prevention devices program fee. The proposed rates will increase the monthly cost for Villa Park residents. The proposal will increase the monthly cost for water by approximately 75 cents a month 
for an average family and 70 cents a month for wastewater charges. In reviewing neighboring communities, the proposed water rate will be slightly higher than the average rate for neighboring communities in 2021 by 72 cents a month, but the wastewater rate is lower than the average rate by $3.83. It should be noted that the wastewater rate does not include Salt Creek Sanitary District treatment charges. These are proposed rates and the Village Board may elect alternate rates. Any reduction in rates will have a direct impact on the completion of the capital plan as there will not be sufficient funding for all planned future projects or a repayment of low interest loans. This will further delay improvements or projects will have to be removed from the capital plan at the board's direction. So folks, um, this is the second final reading, uh, amending water and wastewater rates and charges. And as I just read, the rate increases are needed uh, for capital improvement projects that are pending uh, in 21 and 22, 23, 24, and 25, et cetera, and without the rate increases and increases the various uh, charges as well, uh, some of these projects will have to be delayed till a future date and, uh, and possibly the road construction will have to go on without them. So, um, if you have some time, please uh, come to the board meeting or tune into one of our cable channels or our uh, YouTube platform and kind of uh, partici participate that way if you'd like. Should be some interesting discussion. So moving on to 8B for Monday night, April 26th, is an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending the Villa Park Municipal Code relating to immobilizations of motor vehicles and fines for immobilization. So folks, the background on this particular item is that the police department has identified approximately 26 vehicle owners with multiple unpaid parking tickets. Attempts to collect unpaid parking fines through notices, adjudication, and collections have been ignored. The top five offenders owe the village a cumulative total of $59,062.50. Staff consulted with the village's attorney and adjudication hearing officer to provide guidance that would be used to create a more understandable and enforceable vehicle immobilization code. Attached is a copy of the village's existing code containing highlighted text illustrating the proposed revisions. Staff recommends approval of this ordinance. So folks, I often refer to this as just a a cleanup ordinance and by that we're using the guidance from the village's attorney and adjudication hearing officer to help us create a more understandable and enforceable immobilization code for the village and so we've uh, deleted some paragraphs changed some words uh, made the notification more clear uh, and things of that nature so it's more understandable for not only staff but also the citizens as well. So moving forward on the agenda, we have 8C, which is an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending the village code regarding persons eligible to hold a liquor license. So folks, the background on this particular item is that the Village Board is considering modifying Section 3-309 of Chapter 3, Article 3, of the Villa Park, Villa Park Municipal Code so that the village code is similar to the requirements of the Illinois Liquor Control Act of 1934. This ordinance will allow certain elected officials under certain conditions to hold a liquor license. So folks, this particular item is a result of our recent elections. So we have an individual that happens to have a liquor license in his name and our current village code. Um, no elected officials or uh, the police or uh, the liquor commissioner can have a liquor license in their name. And so this change would uh, modify the municipal code. So moving on to number nine for our meeting on April 26th, we have ordinances. So we have 9A, which is an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, establishing 
temporary executive powers pursuant to Chapter 8, Article 3, Sections 8 301 through 308 of the Villa Park Municipal Code, 65 ILCS 5 backslash 11 hyphen 1 hyphen 6 of the Illinois Municipal Code, and 20 ILCS 3305 hyphen 11 of the Illinois Emergency Management Act. This ordinance extends the temporary executive powers contained in Ordinance 4214 approved by the Village Board on April 12, 2021, until such time that the Village Board can reconvene in an open meeting. So folks, as I've mentioned before, this particular ordinance has been on many agendas now because of the COVID pandemic and probably will be for some future board meetings as well until the pandemic has been uh, mitigated and, and reduced substantially. But the executive powers um, help with staffing, help with purchasing, and help coordination between uh, municipalities and regional COGS, if you will. So it's very helpful, helpful and we'll probably have this for future board meetings. Moving on to 10 for Monday night, April 26, is our resolution section. So we have 10A. We have a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving a contract with John Neary Construction Company, Inc. of Addison, Illinois, for construction of the 3rd Avenue Improvement Project, which is Holly Court to Division Street, in an amount not to exceed $948,907.95. So folks, the background on this particular item is that the 3rd Avenue Improvement Project, Holly Court to Division Street, scope of work includes new storm sewer to achieve combined sewer separation, sanitary sewer lining, some sidewalk removal and curb replacement, parkway restoration, and other related incidental work efforts. The project was advertised for bids on February 19, 2021, and bids were opened on March 16, 2021. The project received substantial interest and received nine bids for the construction of the project. John Neary Construction Company, Inc. of Addison, Illinois submitted the lowest bid. This project will receive a $400,000 reimbursement through DuPage County's Community Development Block Grant Program. Costs for this project have been budgeted in the Storm Improvement Water Supply Fund, Wastewater Operations Fund, and Wastewater Sewer Separation Fund accounts. Staff recommends awarding the construction contact contract to John Neary Construction Company in an amount not to exceed $948,907.95. So folks, um, this is a very important project for us. And as I mentioned, we're going to receive a $400,000 reimbursement through DuPage County's CDBG uh, program as well. So we've been uh, working on this for or probably some time, uh, several years to put forth this project. And uh, hopefully it's approved Monday night and we'll move forward with the construction. Moving forward on our agenda, we have 10B is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois approving an engineering services agreement with Edwin Hancock Engineering Company of Westchester, Illinois for phase three construction engineering of the Third Avenue Improvement Project, Holly Court to Division Street, in an amount not to exceed $101,671.50. So folks, the background on this particular item is that the Third Avenue Improvement Project, Holly Court to Division Street, was advertised for bids on February 19, 2021, and bids were opened on March 16, 2021. The scope of work includes no new storm sewer to achieve combined sewer separation, sanitary sewer lining, some sidewalk removal and curb replacement, parkway restoration, and other related incidental work efforts. This resolution will approve a contract with Edwin Hancock Engineering Company of Westchester, Illinois for phase three construction engineering, which includes pre-construction coordination, 
shop drawing review, construction observation and documentation, survey verification, inspection of traffic control and erosion control, measurement and computation of pay items, preparation of pay estimates, and preparation of record drawings. Staff recommends approval of this engineering services and agreement in an amount not to exceed $101,671.50. Funding for this agreement will be taken from street improvement non-referendum funding funds, water supply fund, water, wastewater sewer separation fund, and wastewater operations fund. So folks, uh, 10B is the phase three construction engineering agreement, which is basically on-site observation and uh, record review and uh, preparation of pay estimates, et cetera. So very important to the construction of, of the Third Avenue uh, improvement project. So moving on for Monday night, April 26th, we have 10C, which is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental grant agreement with the State of Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, also known as DCEO, for grant funding for the construction of the Michigan Avenue Improvement Project. So folks, the background of this particular item is that the 2019 State of Illinois Capital Bill included an appropriation in the amount of $550,000 to the Village of Villa Park for road improvements. Staff submitted an application to use this grant funding for the construction of the Michigan Avenue Improvement Project. After reviewing and processing the application, the DCEO has now formally awarded the grant funding to the village. An agreement between the village and the DCEO is necessary in order to formally accept the grant award and receive the funding. So folks, you probably already are well aware that the Michigan Improvement Project is completed um, and uh, staff is currently going through final closeout. And what this is really doing is finalizing the agreement with the state of Illinois so that the village can receive the $550,000 reimbursement. And of course, once we receive that funding, then we'll put that towards more street improvements. So moving on to 10D for Monday night, we have a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental grant agreement with the state of Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, again also known as DCEO, for grant funding for the construction of the Plymouth Street Improvement Project. So folks, the background on this particular item is that the 2019 State of Illinois capital budget included an appropriation in the amount of $733,500 to the Village of Villa Park for the Plymouth Street Improvement Project. Staff submitted an application for the funding to the DCEO in July 2020. After reviewing and processing the application, the DCEO has now formally awarded the grant funding to the village. An agreement between the village and the DCEO is necessary in order to formally accept the grant award and receive the funding. So folks, I'm sure you're aware that the Plymouth Street Improvement Project is finished and staff is moving through the closeout of that project and this intergovernmental agreement is necessary to receive the $733,500 reimbursement from the state of Illinois. So um, hopefully after Monday night it'll be approved and we'll submit the completed documentation to the state of Illinois and receive the reimbursements for the Michigan Avenue Improvement Project and the Plymouth Street uh, improvement project as well. So moving on to 10E for Monday night, we have a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, designating Freedom of Information Officers. So folks, the background of this particular item is that the Village has appointed two individuals as Freedom of Information Officers in order to meet the requirements of Public Act 096-542. In light of recent staffing changes, 
it is recommended that Amy Raphael, confidential executive assistant to the village manager, be appointed to the second position. The other position is occupied by Janet Gorman, the human resource manager. So folks were have some pending staffing changes, so it's necessary to solidify, again, the freedom of information officers for the village, so it's, we're in compliance with the uh, State Public Act of 096-542. So moving on for Monday night, we have 10F, which is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving the village manager's employment contract. So folks, we do this on an annual basis. Um, we bring uh, my contract forward for approval by the board so they consider my compensation, et cetera. And this is just part of the annual process for my contract. And so we'll be discussing that uh, briefly Monday night under 10F. So moving on to number 11, we have public comments on non-agenda items. And so folks, that's the appropriate time for anyone in the audience to come to the podium and comment on non-agenda items. So we have number 12 on the agenda for Monday night, which is the village clerk's report. 13 is the village trustee's report. 14 is the village president's report. 15 is my report, the village manager's report. Then we have 16, which is executive closed session. So we have 16A, pursuant to the general provisions of the Open Meetings Act. We have A, 5 ILCS 120-2 C1, personnel matters. C2, collective bargaining matters. C5, purchase or lease of property. C6, sale or lease of property. C11, pending litigation. C21, discussion of closed session minutes. So folks, we do uh, have an item or so that will be discussed in executive closed session unless the board uh, changes that Monday through amendments to the agenda. So we would come out and then we have number 17, which is successor labor agreement between the Village of Villa Park and the Illinois Fraternal Order of Police Labor Council. So we have 17A, which is a motion to approve a successor labor agreement between the Village of Villa Park and the Illinois Fraternal Order of Police Labor Council, effective May 1st, 2021 through April 30th, 2022. And then folks, then we have number 18, which is adjournment. So if you have some time, you can come in person. If you do, you'll have to uh, wear a mask and we'll be following social distancing guidelines. You can tune in to our two cable channels or you can tune in and watch us live on our YouTube channel. So. Hope you have some time to do that. We have some interesting topics. So again, my name is Rich Keener. It's my honor to be the village manager for the Village of Villa Park. Take care and hope to see you soon.